How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. With the trade deadline and buyout market approaching, the rumors are beginning to heat up about Andre Drummond again. There have been both trade rumors about him potentially being dealt to the Dallas Mavericks in a trade for Przingis, and there have also been rumors of him potentially getting bought out of his contract yet too. And obviously, I know the hope is very high among Laker fans that he'll get bought out of his contract. With that, there has also been a rumor that Andre Drummond would likely be interested in becoming a Laker if he were to get bought out of his contract. We'll go over the likelihood of him either getting traded or bought out of his contract and how he would potentially fit with the Laker team if he were to get bought out. To begin, I know I've told a lot of you in the comments before that it's very unlikely that he'll get bought out of his contract and I stand by that yet. He does have a large contract, but it's not like a Blake Griffin type of situation where he has absolutely no trade value and is way past his prime. Drummond is only 27 years old and is a walking double-double. He's likely the best rebounder in the entire NBA and is a big contributor on both ends of the court. He isn't a shooter, but he can score in a variety of ways around the rim, and again, it's nearly impossible to prevent him from getting offensive rebounds, which is where a large part of his offensive production comes from. He's a good defender too, and is capable of defending the perimeter when he needs to, along with being a very good rim protector. I went through every category that he provides good production in to show how valuable he can be to a team and also why he should have trade value yet, even with his $28 million contract. No, he isn't a modern NBA big that can shoot from the 3 point line, but then again, not many modern NBA big men can provide the same type of production he gives combined with rebounding and defense together. And if the trade rumors are true about the Mavericks being interested in him, I'm not sure it would be that bad of an idea. Porzingis is the more talented player, but then again, he's also been very injury prone. He got hurt for them in the playoffs last year, which derailed their hopes of pulling an upset victory over the Clippers, and he hasn't been able to be healthy this year either. And when it comes to big men with reoccurring injuries, there is always room for concern. Drummond may not provide the same type of all-around production that Przingis can give them when he is healthy, but Drummond is a lot more durable. He's rarely missed games due to injuries throughout his career, and has always been reliable in that regard. Drummond is on an expiring contract, but he would likely be interested in remaining with a team like Dallas after becoming an important part of their team. With that, he could also be traded for Przingis in a straight up trade. No other players would have to be included to make it work financially. Will a trade like that happen? I'm really not sure, but I still think a trade is more likely to happen than a contract buyout. Personally, I really just can't imagine that Cleveland would agree to buy Andre Drummond out of his contract and get literally nothing for him. They wouldn't have to get a major player in return like Porzingis to make a trade work. They could instead trade him for a couple of players and get a draft pick or two. I'm not sure if they're currently overvaluing him right now or if other teams are just waiting till the bitter end of the trade deadline to make an offer. Again, I think it's a lot more likely that he'll end up getting traded rather than getting bought out of his contract. I wanted to go through all of that and explain why it's a lot more likely so you guys don't get your hopes up too high yet. But let's say hypothetically that he does end up getting bought out of his contract. How would he fit on the Laker team and should they have mutual interest in each other? And to begin, the Lakers obviously do have interest in him and they really should too. He would be a big upgrade over both of their current centers in Marcus Gasol and Damian Jones. Damian Jones is only currently under a 10 day contract and likely because the Lakers are waiting to see if an upgrade like Drummond will become available through the buyout market. Because of the injury to Anthony Davis, Drummond could potentially step into a big role, especially while AD is recovering yet. Would that be enough to entice him to want to join their team? I think it actually would. Now that the Brooklyn Nets brought in Blake Griffin and already have a similar type of big man with DeAndre Jordan, they wouldn't have as big of a role to offer him that the Lakers would. And other teams that would likely also be interested in him like the Clippers wouldn't have as big of a role to offer him as they in particular often play in a small ball lineup and they do already have Serge Ibaka too. That would likely put the Lakers as the front runners to get him. They would have the biggest role to offer him, the highest chance of winning a championship outside of any other team other than maybe Brooklyn and they do actually need him compared to other teams. All of that would likely lead to a good pairing between Drummond and the Lakers, which would be a huge upgrade for them. Not only would they be getting much needed help at center that they've needed while AD has been hurt, but he'd also be a great addition beside AD when he comes back. The Lakers dominated other teams last year with their height and physical presence down low, and that was with the combination of Anthony Davis and JaVale McGee, or Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard. Now imagine a combination of Anthony Davis and Andre Drummond. Drummond can rebound at the high level of a Dwight Howard in his prime, and is a very good defensive-minded big too. 
Combined, Andre Drummond and Anthony Davis have averaged nearly 3 steals and 3 blocks per game this year. They are both very versatile and active defenders, which would likely make them the best defensive frontcourt in the entire NBA, and Drummond would provide them with a defensive-minded center that AD likes to play with, so he doesn't have to bang down low all game long. And even though Drummond would shrink the floor for them a little bit on offense, his ability to be a lob threat and be a great offensive rebounder would make up for that. AD is capable of stepping out to the 3 point line and making a lineup with Drummond in it work. Here they could either put shooters around LeBron, AD and Drummond, or create a defensive type of death lineup by surrounding them with players like Caruso and Shooter. Either way, Drummond would provide them with a lot, particularly on defense and rebounding, both of which they've lacked at times without Anthony Davis on the court. They wouldn't be able to keep him beyond this year, but he would in my mind make them the absolute favorites to win the championship again. The Lakers are far from being favorites without a healthy Anthony Davis, but by adding Drummond, I would take them over Brooklyn due to having more depth. Though, be sure to keep in mind that isn't all very likely to happen. I believe that Cleveland will be able to get at least something for Drummond at the trade deadline, and they're going to hold out until the bitter end too, so even if they would end up buying him out of his contract, don't expect anything to happen until at least after the trade deadline ends on March 25th. And who knows, by that point, the Lakers may choose to pursue a different player in the buyout market or target a player through a trade. Anthony Davis will also be healthy and back on the court by then, so they may not feel like they need him as much by then either. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's more likely that Andre Drummond will get traded or bought out of his contract? I know you'd all like to see him with the Lakers, but let's really try to be realistic here. If you think he's more likely to be traded, let me know where you think he might get traded to and where it might be a good fit for him. And if you think he will get bought out of his contract, explain to me why. I don't want to spread rumors around that aren't likely to happen, so really think about the likelihood of it actually being able to work. Let's try to have a meaningful conversation down below in the comments. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch till the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.